Hi, this is Utsav Dutt from Cisco DAC, working with WAN Access Backbone team. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how to configure and troubleshoot serial interfaces on a channelized spa. In this video, I'm going to take you through serial interfaces that come up on this channelized STM1 OC3 spa mounted on a 7600 platform. Let me remind you guys that you can take the logic that we learned today in this video to any channelized SPA that is supported on any respective platform. The logic is not going to change. Certainly, you have to have a look into the SFP that you use with that SPA because each SPA would be compatible with a set of SFPs. If the SFP does not match, your interface will never come. Each AUG in short, AU will have seven tugs, and in each tug, there would be a maximum of three EUs. So that would make it as a whole in all three of them as how much? 63 DS ones. I'll take you through all these steps that we talk about in this presentation on the lifeguard server. There is a sample config that we can quickly put in our routers and test. How it's going to behave. Let me maximize this for you. Right here. Right? This is the RUT router under test, we call it as. Let me show you the config I have. And as I said, I have nothing under this config as of yet. Right? Let me quickly show you the inventory. It's a 7600 box with channel existing one card in slot 3 slash 2. With the respective SFP. Let me quickly take this config, the sample one, and so let's go into config mode. Zero. We will put this under AU41 tuck 3 1. And paste the config. And the moment I start pasting the config, do, do you see some syslog messages coming up? Keep these logs under check here. See the status of the interfaces? Yeah, now you start seeing these tags to come up, right? See, all these interfaces are wrong. Great, huh? Oops. You notice that? This interface has gone down. Why is that so? This is an important aspect of this video. We in DAC get cases from customers around the world asking for RMAs of the complete SPA because they see two interfaces, two tugs on this SPA to be done and they want us to change the complete SPA. So let me remind you friends here that the problem could be on the SPA if we can make some very initial checks to determine is it really a problem. How? The best way is to do a loopback test on the particular tug on this control. How? Let's see. We'll take this interface here, right? So it's Sonnet Controller 320. So 320 right here, this one. Now it's 1112 colon 9. So how it goes up as AU41, tuck 31, that is 11. One, one. Then again, we have 12 colon 9, so right? So tuck 21, E12 colon 9. So this is the tug under consideration, right? So we'll quickly go under this tug. And I'll show you what all options we have. Right there is the loopback option. I'll do it as slow. 
So I've just looped this one tug under the complete SPA sonnet controller. Now let's see what's the interface. And it comes up right here. So gentlemen, the problem is not on this SPA, it's not on this interface. The problem is on the next hop device where you have these tugs mapped. So you have to contact the local provider who is managing the marks and you have to ask them to check the mapping on their device. You can quickly put an IP address on this interface, run the ping pattern with different data sizes, different patterns, see there are no drops and you can confirm that the hardware is good enough. This way we can save your customer downtime and at the end get things resolved I would also like to show you one quick document that we have on cisco.com right here this one this would illustrate all that we've talked about plus some more details onto this so I would recommend you to guys to read through this document as well and before coming to Cisco DAC we can always have these tests done and we are always here to help you out thank you